we're closing a loan tomorrow. And that's exactly how they're doing it. They're signing the deed of trust. Everything is done. In front of a Zoom. He's in front of a Zoom notary. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What got to me or what stood out to me the most was um, finding ways of disrupting your industry. Hmm. And, and blockchain is one of those disruptors right. for the real estate industry. Zillow was a disruptor. Mm -hmm. Now they're the disrupting buyer, right out of yeah, business. The buyer, yeah. <laughs> the real estate industry. Mm -hmm. And then, so there was a speaker, his name was Stuart. Oh, hate getting old. Um, I can't remember Stuart's last name. However, mm -hmm. he's a, a real estate guy in, in Texas, but he has offices um, all over the country. And what they're focusing on is not necessarily the asset, meaning the house. They're focusing in on the transaction, hmm. making money on all parts of the transaction. You uh, mean as the real estate agent, as the title company, as, as all those the things, insurance and, provider, and doing it all with online. No interact, like all online, no face to face interaction. Mm. Yes. They said, how, how they do you keep that identity straight? Well, well, the thing about it is you can use DocuSign and different types of yeah. uh, e-sign stuff. You use Zoom, the blockchain. Zoom notaries, the, you know, yeah. all that stuff. Hmm. But, but they, they said, what was it? Sometime in December, they were going to be 100% everything online. Yeah, they sell, That's amazing. buy and sell thousands of houses. They never actually personally meet anybody. And never go I think to you any can closing. sign a deed online. I don't think that all states allow that to well, be able to. Whatever states they're in, they're okay. able to do it. Well, huh. yeah, I mean, you, yeah. If you, so on a, like on a <laughs> Zoom notary, like, or, or just, no, I'm not plugging Zoom, it's just whatever way you yeah. look at people live. Right, right. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get it notarized. I mean, we're, we're closing a loan tomorrow. And that's exactly how they're doing it. They're signing the deed of trust. Everything is done in front of a Zoom. In front of a Zoom notary. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, again, they're focusing more on the transaction than they are on the actual asset. So there's a way to make money in this business without actually owning, buying, or selling a piece of property. Just being the person who conducts the transaction. Just being that yeah. third party that uh, coordinates the transaction, you know, with it, you know, being, you know, was it men cooking dinner day or something? <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're handling the transaction soup to nuts as it were. <laughs> that was good. good. <laughs> that was good. I'm impressed. So, you need to think of ways in your <clears throat> everyday businesses of, of ways that you could change your industry, disrupt that industry. And you got to really think outside the box yeah. about that. And, one of the ways to do that is to be in mastermind groups where you can get ideas from other people outside yeah, of that. That's right. Um, most of your, you know, big giants, uh, companies or, um, yeah. internet type companies like a Zillow. Yeah. Um, you know, it was just an idea. Well, I was going to say, you know, one of the best ways that you can disrupt your industry, let's just say it's real estate. You can go and pay more for a house then it's worth and then whatever one everyone else is bidding on it and you can really disrupt the industry <laughs> I'm, but th that's probably our original idea probably so, no one's done that <laughs> then you can so get stuck with it and sell it at a loss fire one two, fourth of two your thousand employees <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and go oops did i do that <laughs> We're discussing Zillow. If you don't already get that. <laughs> it's, listen, it's not hurting them much. They had tons of cash that were available. Um, what, what I find disrupting is that, uh, websites like Zillow and realtor.com and Redfin, none of those would even exist if it wasn't for the uh, national association of realtors. And that's allowing them to get access to all their multiple listings, exactly which right. by the way, all the realtors pay, have to pay monthly dues to mm -hmm. have access to it. Mm -hmm. And they're selling it to these people that are uh, turning out to be realtors themselves and taking the business from that's them. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. 
I, I, I just don't get it. Not a smart way to go. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, we talk about the blockchain and, and that, but I mean, I think as, as it's moving forward, it's already happening. We're seeing how the, the whole transaction from finding, um, acquiring, closing, and servicing everything in real estate mm-hmm. can be done online and, and utilize, you know, and utilizing blockchain technology. Like we said, <clears throat> you can u- use it for title companies or um, essentially as the escrow, you know, things get uploaded t- from one party side, money gets wired from another party side. When all the boxes are checked, it switches. Yeah.